seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother. Hello everyone and welcome back. So in this part we are going to color him. We're going to add some color to Mr. Silent Key Hedgehog. So uh, what we're going to do is a couple of things. Uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to create the shader that we're going to be using uh, when we make our colors. Uh, but before we do that we want to do a process called UV unwrapping. Uh, basically what we want to do is take this 3D object and flatten it on a 2D surface. So right now we want to go to UV editing and you see it tried to pre-unwrap it for us. If I unwrap this right now, uh, this is basically unusable. <laughs> so what we want to do to make this usable uh, for uh, texturing is we want to uh, basically go in and find areas uh, particularly uh, with the quills you want to find areas that uh, well actually you know go around uh, and uh, honestly just try to separate them uh, or separate them as best as you can like so we want to go all the way around make sure you're in edge select mode too because some edges we don't necessarily want others are unavoidable because they're a part of the process so we want this edge we want this edge leave me alone okay I guess we also want this edge, right? Okay. This one. And then this one, well, we'll put it on. Select this part down here and up here. That should be good. And then do the same thing for this bottom one. All right. And the other quills as well. If this works right, then we only have to do it this one time. All right. Uh, the rest of this should be good. Although, you know, we could do first. Control E. Mark seam wrap that okay so we got this part separated that's the face uh, yeah so this is the facial area that's fine we can definitely do the ear as well let's do the ear separate that and then let's see what would be the best way to flatten this out control E mark seam Unwrap it. All right, we got the ear. Yeah, we could probably unwrap that better. Let's try this. Let's do this, rather. There we go. All right. <clears throat> uh, now for the quills. Yeah, we definitely want to separate these
mark seam. Uh, and then we can deal with this one. Mark seam. Okay. Let's unwrap that. All right, so now we got the quill separated. If we hit three, boom, 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 boom. All right, good, that's what we want. Now we go in and the birds are having a good time. Okay, control E, mark seam. There we go. This is what you want. All right. Now that we've unwrapped the head, uh, you definitely want to save this. So I'm going to save it real quick. And then you want to uh, you want to uh, go over here to the mirror modifier. And I don't know why they got rid of the apply buttons over here, but basically you want to hit control A and it'll apply the mirror modifier. I don't know why they got rid of those buttons. I think that's a dumb idea, but whatever. So you apply the mirror modifier, go back, you unwrap it. There we go. This is a much better unwrap. So. Uh, now that we un UV unwrap the head, let's do the rest of them. So let's do his legs here. Start off with the easy parts. Control E, mark seam. So you get the gist. We're going in to the spaces. Uh, yeah, we're going in between these spaces here. And control E, mark seam. And I can probably delete those faces. Yeah, we're, we're basically marking the areas that will basically be split up in the 2D section over here to be used as, uh, so we can texture it. So we can texture it. This is just a tube, so we don't really have to worry. Control E, mark seam. Although, we did duplicate we this from the legs, back, so. Back, back, back. No, it looks like it's good. All right, we do the same thing for the glove. Control V, mark C, and then the hand. This is why I said we should rotate the thumb and do that like we did, because look at how easy it this seam goes through. This is exactly what we want right here. Control E, mark C, boom. That was simple, one click. Uh, let's do this. Control E, mark seam, and then for the feet, probably do these a multitude of ways. We'll just do this. Control E, mark seam. That'll be good for that. All right. Let's UV unwrap him. All right. That's good. Let's apply the mirror modifier and unwrap again. Make sure. Oh, we did not do the body so the body should be simple enough to be honest just go in select that and delete these for the legs we don't want these and we do want these there we go control E mark scene unwrap there we go all right so he is now UV unwrapped and ready to go. Uh, we don't need to UV unwrap this because we're not doing anything extravagant to it. We do want to UV unwrap these though, so you unwrap. Um, and actually, uh, we need to keep the shrink wrap modifier applied to these, but I do want to apply the mirror modifier. And the reason I want to do that is so I can go here, select this with uh, L, and then you want to... Uh, oops, I, I did not have my screencast keys on this entire time. I do apologize for that. Forgive me. Uh, so, uh, just do that. You want to hit L, select everything. And then you want to hit P, selection. Then you want to tab into object mode, select this, go to object, set origin, origin to geometry. That's what you want to do. 
and you want to UV unwrap this as well. So both of these should be UV unwrapped. Okay. You want to UV unwrap this, however, um, and we can Alt R to fix the rotation because uh, he doesn't need to be rotated like that, and we could probably do a more permanent rotation here in Edimo. So R X, let's rotate that. There we go. And uh, this sphere, uh, they actually UV unwrap spheres for you already. So you technically, if you don't want to, you don't have to unwrap that. Uh, I'm going to rotate this down a little bit more in edit mode here. give it some offset so uh, so what we do now is uh, we start making the shader let's see what 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 sort of time we're looking at we're already at 11 minutes all right so that'll probably be its own video UV unwrapping oh, I, I've noticed a grievous mistake now that that might be because we just scaled that down uh, like... okay now that is a grievous mistake so <laughs> we, we want to fix that grievous error uh, turn on X because we applied the mirror modifier uh, go away. turn on proportional editing there we go and move that in the day has been saved once again by Sonic the Hedgehog. So, there we go. Uh, that is this part. Uh, in the next part, we will uh, officially start coloring. This was uh, this was just UV and wrapping, I guess. <laughs> um, yeah. So I will see you guys in the next part. Uh, I'm just fiddling with this a little more, but yeah, I'll see you guys in the next part. So yeah, see you there.